I'm going to show you today how to take three simple chords and three simple patterns and be able to play anywhere on the guitar neck. I'm also going to show you how to take those three simple patterns and play not only in the major scale, but also in the minor scale. So let's dive in. All right, so if you've been following this channel for any amount of time, you know I'm a huge fan of taking very simple chords and moving them around the guitar neck in order to play in different keys and in different places on the guitar neck. So today I want to show you how to take three very simple chords that you already know how to play, move them around, be able to play in different keys, and also be able to play lead up and down the guitar neck. So the first chord that I want you to think about is the chord of A. So this chord is actually movable anywhere on the guitar neck. So as we move this up, if we move it up one, we get A sharp or B flat. Move it up again, we get B. To the fifth fret, we get C. Seventh fret, we get D. Ninth fret, we get E. Twelfth fret, we get G. And if we go up to the 14th fret, it actually starts back over again with A. So this A chord is able to be moved anywhere and you can you know, make different chords depending on where you move it. But there's also a pattern associated with this chord. So it's your major scale pattern and it's this one right here. And if you play that pattern around this shape, then you get the major scale. So this would be the A major scale, but you can move this up. So let's say I moved it up to the fifth fret to the chord of C, I play that same pattern and now I've got the C major scale. Or if you move it up you know, to the seventh fret, play that same pattern, you can get the D major scale. So anywhere that you play this A shape, you play that pattern and you can get the major scales. Now another chord that's movable that you probably already play all the time and you already move around is this E shape. So this would be your bar chord. So move it up, you get F, move it up to the third fret, you get G, the fifth fret, you get A. So you're probably already used to moving this bar chord around, but there's a scale, once again, a pattern associated uh, with this bar chord. And let's just come up to the fifth fret. That way we're still in A. So move it up to the fifth fret, we get A. And if you play this pattern, This is, once again, your A major scale around this bar chord. So anywhere you play this bar chord, you play that pattern, and again, you can get the major scale. So let's say I wanted to play in C again. I would move this up to the eighth fret where I'm making my C chord. I can play that same pattern. And now I've got my C major scale. So we had the A, the A chord, and we had our pattern associated with that. Now we've got our bar chord, and we've got our major pattern associated with this one. The only other chord that you really need in order to play all around, because you notice we've been playing around the second fret. Now in A, we've been playing around the fifth fret. Well, now we need something to be in between here. So this D chord is a nice, easy chord that all of us know how to play. And this D chord, once again, is movable. So if we were to play a normal D, move it up two frets, we get E. One more, we get F. Two more, we get G. And then move it up here to the ninth and 10th fret, we get our A chord. And once again, there is a pattern associated with this. And that is the pattern that gives us our A major scale. So anywhere you play this D chord, you play this pattern and now you get the major scale. So we had our major scale around this A, this A chord shape. We had our major chord around this bar chord shape. And now we've got a major scale around this D chord shape. So that allows you to play your major scale anywhere up and down the guitar neck in any key. 
Now, I know what you're saying, Dave, I don't want to just play the major scale. I want to be able to play the minor scale, too. And I agree that you should be able to play the minor scale everywhere around the guitar neck. And you might be thinking, well, I've got to learn three new patterns. No, this one pattern will also play the minor scale. And I know what you're saying. That's impossible. But just bear with me. I'll explain it. So let's go back to this A chord. And I play this pattern to get my major scale. If I move this pattern up three frets, so one, two, three, now I'm up here around the fifth fret and I play that same pattern. Now I have my A minor scale. So this major scale moved up three frets. It's the same exact pattern you were playing before. Now it becomes the minor scale. And this works for every single one of these patterns. So the pattern here around the bar chord, you move that up three frets, you get the minor scale, the same with this D. So let's just take this D for example. We were playing this pattern to get the major scale. Well, I'm gonna take that same pattern and go one, two, three. I'll move it up three frets. And now I've got my minor scale. So if you know these three chord shapes and you know these three patterns associated with them, you know the major scale. And all you have to do is just move that major scale pattern up three frets and now you've got the minor scale. So this doesn't just work with the major scale, it also works with your pentatonics. Now, when we were playing our major scale, we had seven notes and on the eighth note, we started back over. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight octa, octave, we started back over. So there are two notes in here that we need to take out in order to get to the pentatonic. Pentatonic meaning five. So we need to take out this fourth note in our scale and this seventh note in our scale. If we take those two out, then we get the pentatonic scale. And this is the same with any of these patterns. So if I come up here to where I was playing this bar chord, one, two, three, four, I'm gonna take that one out. Five, six, seven, I'm gonna take that one out. So now I take those two out and now I'm left with five notes and this is my major pentatonic scale. So if you do that with each one of these three positions, you take the fourth note out and you take the seventh note out, then you're left with the major pentatonic. Well, if you take this major pentatonic pattern, so let's go back down to A, and we were playing this shape to get our major pentatonic. We moved that three frets up, so one, two, three. I play that pattern now, it becomes the minor pentatonic. And again, this works with any one of these patterns. So I come up here to where I was playing my, you know, around this D chord shape. I was playing this, I'm going to take this fourth note out and I'm going to take this seventh note out. And if I do that, now I've got my minor, I mean my major pentatonic. I move this three frets up, one, two, three. Now I've got my minor pentatonic. So this really does work with any major scale and it, you move it three frets up and it becomes the minor scale take the fourth and the seventh out, you get the major pentatonic, move that three frets up, and now you've got the minor pentatonic. So it really is just three simple shapes that you have to remember, and all you have to do is move that major scale three frets up, and all of a sudden you've got the minor scale. Or take the fourth and the seventh out, you've got your major pentatonic, move that three frets up, and now you've got your minor pentatonic. Now, Here's the thing that I really do want you to understand is that there are only 12 possible notes that you could ever play. So in the musical scale, there are only 12 notes. If you know your major scale, like I said, we were already playing seven of them. If you know your minor scale, we add three more notes that we didn't have in our major scale. So seven from the major scale, and you added three more by playing the minor scale, 10 of the possible 12 notes you could ever play, ever, you're already playing between these two scales. 
So what you're searching for, that solo that you can't figure out, um, or that lead lick, you know, that you've just never been able to figure out, it's in one of these scales or a combination of the two. It might be mixing major and minor together, but if you know these patterns, these three patterns, you're able to play them up and down the neck, I promise you, you can play any solo that you want. You already know the notes, you already know the patterns. The hard part, and this is the hard part, and it takes a little bit of time, is to use your ear and figure out which combination of notes it is that you're searching for. And the same goes with modes, and if you want a video on modes, I certainly will make you one. But if you know your major scale pattern, and you can play it anywhere, um, then you already know all the modes, you may just not realize it. So this really does unlock the entire fretboard for you. I really do hope that you memorize this, work on it, practice it in different keys, and as always, if you need something, just reach out to me, I'll be glad to help you.